In this video, we are going to learn how to solve these indefinite integral problems using this Casio FS and that one CW scientific calculator. So guys, after going through this video, you'll be able to deal with problems involving indefinite integrals using the CW scientific calculator. Alright, so let's get started. We have this Oxford integration question to practice with in this video. So the question one I have here says we should find the indefinite integral of x plus 3 over s cube dx all right so these are the options now the very first thing to do as usual will be to reset the calculator to put it in default mode so to reset you press this setting button okay so under reset navigate to reset all right so under here i press execute initialize or the essence of reset is to put a calculator in default mode. Alright, press the quit again. So it's now reset. The next thing to do will be to ensure that the calculator is in radian. So to put it in radian, you press the setting button again. So under calculator setting, press execute. Then angle unit, <coughs> press execute. Then navigate to radian, press execute. So it's now in radian. Press AC button. All right. So we are good to go. The next we are going to do will be to ensure that we store a value we are going to use to solve these problems we have, of which I highly recommend to when solving calculus problems, whether integration or derivative, right? Particularly derivative and integration. So we are going to start on this calculator to start to. On this calculator you press this variable button all right navigate to the x variable you press to press execute so this indicates that two are installed as x on this calculator let's go back press ac button so the idea behind solving indefinite integrals using this castle calculator will be to simplify the question and differentiate the options all right so let's do this guys the question there is in fraction you make use of this fraction button so we have x to bring our x press the shift and this button so we have x plus 3 over so s cube shift and this button make use of this power function so that's what we have there let's press that here stands for function. You don't need to include it in your values. So press execute. We have 5 over 8. To so put it in decimal, press this format button. Then navigate to decimal. So 5 over 8 is same thing as 0 0.625. Right now we're going to differentiate the options. And what that gives us 5 by 8 or 0 0.625 will be the answer to this question. Okay, so to bring out derivative symbol, press catalog button, then function analysis, press execute. We have derivative there. So let's differentiate option A. We have a fraction, we have 1 over 2x, shift and this button. Alright, then come here, we have minus a fraction. 3 over 2x square so that's it the plus c is not part of where we're going to include the plus c is just a constant attached to the output of indefinite integrals so you come to this place and put it to your start all right so you have to also ensure that the brackets are balanced very important so let's press the cute now to see if we are going to have 5 over 8 or 0 0.625. 1 over 4, no. So right now, let's check. Let's find the derivative of option C. Option B I have there is none. Alright, so let's adjust this and do that of option C okay so let's just do the 
changes here we have remove these two here and come here and put negative sign okay so that's it for option C let's press import to now or this is a question button to see if I'm going to have 5 over 8 exactly so the right option in this question is option C which is the one that gave us 5 over 8 it's as simple as this so guys let's solve the next question so that you understand this better before we end this video so before we solve the question too, if you are new to the channel ensure sure to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos I really appreciate this guys so let's go ahead and solve question 2 we are still working with the same format of the calculator we are working with the store value 2 the calculator is still in radian no need to reset it so let's simplify the indefinite integral we have there we have cube root of x to bring out cube root of x on this calculator all you need to do is press shift uh, this button all right so put cube there okay come inside the under the root symbol impute x shifts and this button so that's what we have there right the dear is just a function that's what it stands for there so let's press the kids we are 1.25 right now going to differentiate the options anyone that gives us 1.25 will be the answer so let's press the catalog button function analysis press this again so let's begin with option a a fraction 3 over 4 all right we have x okay to the power the power there is a fraction sorry let's delete this okay so make use of this fraction button we have 4 over 3 so that's it for option A. The bracket is balanced, one on the right and one at the left. So come to this boss here and put it to the start. Yeah, let's see we're going to have 1.25. Is that this? So the right option is option A for this question. It's as simple as this. So that this is basically can deal with problems involving indefinite integral using this as you have phrase number one cw century calculator in second for multiple choice questions in calculus hope there's something interesting from the video let's go to video guys if you are new to this channel once more ensure that you are subscribed to this channel for more of these videos also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel about the lens from this video if you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding what i've talked about in this video feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and i'm sure to give you a response Alright, so don't forget to receive the calculator once you are done. Very important to put it in default mode. So to reset, press the setting button. Okay, and we get to reset, press execute, go to initialize or yes. So we are good to go. Click on the screen above and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.